Peppa is making a funny face. Don't worry, George. It's only Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'd better tell Daddy we found the torch. Daddy is still in the cellar, looking for the torch. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Daddy, we found the torch. Luckily, it was in the kitchen all the time. What a stroke of luck. <laughs> Now, we just have to wait until the electricity comes back. How long will that be, exactly? Um, I would say exactly a long time. Oh, but George and I want to do some dancing. I know what we can do. We can watch some television. Oh, it won't go on. <laughs> The TV needs electricity, too. Does it? Yes. yes! Oh, now what are we going to do? In the olden days, when there was no television, children would have to make up their own games. Hmm. I know! I need a cardboard box. What is Peppa doing? <laughs> Mummy, will you cut a hole in this box for me? What for? You'll see. Mummy Pig is cutting a hole in the cardboard box. There you are, Peppa. Thank you. Now you all have to sit down there. And George, you have to point this torch at me. <laughs> <laughs> it him. Welcome to Peppa Pig News with me, Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa has made her own television. Today, the whole world stopped working when there was a power cut and all the electricity was lost. <laughs> Daddy, I'm Queen Peppa. You must bow when you speak to me. Oh, I'm most terribly sorry, Your Royal Highness. And what do you do? I'm your daddy. Hmm. That must be very interesting. Yes, it's very interesting. And what room is this? This is the dinosaur room. The dinosaur room? George, this is the dinosaur room. <laughs> dinosaur! Where is the dinosaur? He's somewhere in the room. I can't see him. He must be very small. Actually, Peppa, he's very big. <gasps> wow! These are the bones of a real dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> George imagines being a big dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> the dinosaur room is George's favourite room. <laughs> My favourite room is the king and queen's room. And it looks as if Daddy Pig is already in his favourite room. Which room is that, Mummy? The room with the cakes in. Daddy Pig's favourite room is the museum cafe. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, tuck in. Oh, yes. This is a very nice room. <laughs> what do cowboys do? They tell stories, sing songs and eat beans. Beans on toast for everyone. Hooray! Cowboys love beans on toast. Everybody loves beans on toast. Who wants a cowboy song? Do you know what? Cowboy song? Yes, I made it up and it goes like this. I'm a brave cowboy and I'm eating my beans with a bing and a bong and a boo. Baked beans bang, baked beans boo, baked beans bingly bongly bang. I could tell a story. Make it scary. 
It was a wet and windy night in the wild west. Ooh. And wild animals were out looking for food. Looking for food at night? Some animals eat at night, Susie. Wild animals. Brrr. And the brave cowboy Pedro was alone in his tent. But he couldn't sleep because something was outside the tent. Was it a wild animal? What's that? It's a wild animal! Ah! Oh! It is a tiny little bird. Come to look at Pedro's tent. I think it was an eagle. Eagles live in the Wild West. Is everybody all right? Yes, Mummy. It's nearly home time. But we haven't done the pretend sleeping yet. Everybody back in the tent. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, partners. Good, Good night, Cowboy Pedro. Pedro. <sighs> I'm glad there aren't any wild animals out there. Oh! Wild animals! Ah! It's a wolf! Yes, it's my daddy. Oh! Princess called Sleeping Beauty. One day, she fell asleep in a thorny bush and she stayed there for a hundred years. Yes, that's a nice story, Peppa. It is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. My mummy is in a blackberry bush and she'll be there for a hundred years. Like Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> and she'll be rescued by a handsome prince who will give her a kiss. <laughs> my mummy is having an adventure. I wish my mummy would have adventures like that. Um, can someone think of a way to get me out of here? Don't worry, mummy. In a hundred years, a handsome prince will rescue you. I'll be that handsome prince. Grandpa Pig, may I borrow your pruning shears, please? Of course you may, brave Sir Daddy Pig. Stand back, everyone. Take that, you thorny bush, you. Yay! Oh, my prince. My princess. Mm -hmm. You were meant to stay in there for a hundred years. That was quite long enough, thank you. <laughs> Mummy is a black Berry bush. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this sort of thing only happened to me. Stand still while we pick you. <laughs> Let's take all this fruit back to Granny Pig. Granny, Granny, Mummy had an adventure. And then Mummy fell in the bush. She looked quite silly and she was going Help me! Help me! And then Daddy came and rescued her. The end. Thank you, Pepper. I think we've all heard that story enough times now. But it's funny. I never want to see another Blackberry in my life. So... These baskets can be your shells. There. Now you look like two cheeky snails. <laughs> and I'm going to eat her all Grandpa Pig's lettuce. Oi! Keep off my lovely lettuce, you cheeky snails. <laughs> and when Grandpa Pig shouts at me, I'll hide in my little house. <laughs> <laughs> all of Peppa's friends are here. <laughs> Hello, Grandpa Pig. Hello, Susie. Have you come to play with Pepper and George? Yes. I don't know where they are. <laughs> it's just me and these two snails here. We are cheeky snails. We are cheeky snails. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> We were pretending to be snails. <laughs> Can we be snails too? I don't think I have enough baskets for you all. Aww. You could be something else, though. Something exciting from the garden. 
a carrot? Rebecca Rabbit likes carrots. No, Rebecca, not carrots. Come over here. <laughs> What's that buzzing sound? It's coming from that little house. Grandpa, why is that doll's house making a funny buzzing noise? That's not a doll's house, Peppa. It's a bee's house. It's called a hive. Ooh. Look, here's one now. What's she doing? She's collecting nectar from the flower, and then she flies back to the hive to make it into honey. Hmm, I like honey. Let's pretend to be bees. Carefully into the water. I can't see anything. There's nothing in there. Wait, I think I see something. <laughs> ah! Crocodile! Hello, I'm Mrs Crocodile. I'm the keeper in charge of the penguins. Ah, oh, penguins! Adorable, aren't they? And now it's their feeding time. Penguins eat fish. Ooh. Penguins are very good at catching. And waddling. <laughs> <laughs> and they like to swim. If you look through the glass wall, you can see the penguins swimming underwater. Wow! They're really good at swimming. Yes, that's why we have this fancy pool for them. Very interesting. Thank you, Mrs Crocodile and Mr Lion. It's our pleasure, Mrs Wildebeest. Gazelle. Of course, yes, gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> what animal are we meeting next? I can see it. It's very tall. It's a giraffe. Yes, that's my dad. He's a keeper at the zoo. Hello, I'm Mr Giraffe. Hello, Mrs Giraffe. What sort of animal are you looking after? See if you can guess. <laughs> <laughs> Look up there. There's a net. It must be a flying wild animal. It must be hiding, watching us, waiting. To pounce! Ooh, butterflies! Mr Giraffe looks after the butterflies. Is it the butterflies' feeding time? Yes, and the butterflies get all the food they need from these flowers. It is amazing they can live on just the food from flowers. I wish I could get by just eating flowers. Yes. All this talk of eating has made me quite hungry. Me too. Well, it's our feeding time now. What's for lunch today, Mr Lion? Oh, lunch boxes for everyone. Sandwiches, fruit juice and an apple. Little picnics in boxes. <laughs> Tuck in, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> You can be a wriggly worm. <laughs> look, look, I'm a butterfly. <laughs> oh dear, George does not want to be a worm. He wants to be a butterfly. George, when I was a little piggy, I used to like playing at being a worm. It's very easy to be a worm. I'll show you how. First, you have to lie down on the ground. Then, you wriggle around. Ha <laughs> I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> George and Grandpa Pig are having such fun being wriggly worms. <laughs> I'm a little butterfly. I'm a little butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, I'm a butterfly. Yes, Pepper, you're a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa, George, what are you doing? We are wriggly worms. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be a wriggly worm too. I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> I'm a wriggly worm. I'm a wiggly worm. How do you do? I love you. I'm a wiggly worm. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. 
What animal do you want to be now? Hmm, I don't know. <coughs> Look, Grandpa, there's a little frog. <coughs> Why don't you play at being frogs? Hmm, frogs are not as pretty as butterflies or as wiggly as worms. <coughs> To make the head. <laughs> now the scarecrow needs something to wear. Here's a bag of old clothes. Ooh. George has found a dress. <laughs> Silly George. Mr. Scarecrow doesn't want to wear a dress. <laughs> Pepper has found a coat. Very good, Pepper. George has found a hat. Very good, George. Mr. Scarecrow needs a face. That's right. Would you and George like to paint a face? Yes, please. <laughs> George paints the eyes and nose. Pepper paints the mouth. Fantastic. Mr. Scarecrow is ready. Hooray! <laughs> the little birds are looking for Grandpa Pig's flower seeds. Look, the little birds are back. Don't worry, Pepper. Mr. Scarecrow will scare them off. It worked. Mr. Scarecrow has scared the little birds away. Hooray! Good. Now my flower seeds will not be eaten. Oh, Grandpa, the birds look very sad. Yes, they must be hungry. That's why I've brought this. What's that, Granny? It's a bird feeder. Grandpa, may I have some seeds, please? Come on, birdies. Lunchtime. Now the birdies have their own seeds to eat. Hooray! The little birds are happy again. <laughs> Peppa is glad that Grandpa Pig's seeds will not be eaten. But she is even more glad that the little birds will not be hungry. <laughs> Your shadow always stays with you. Why? When something gets in the way of the sun, it makes a shadow. Like this. Oh. I have the biggest shadow because I'm the biggest. And George and I have the smallest shadows because we are the smallest. Very clever, Edmund. I'm a clever clogs. <laughs> <gasps> Whose shadow is that? That's the biggest shadow ever. It must be a giant. <laughs> It's not a giant. The shadow is being made by a cloud. Wow! What sort of cloud is it? Um, it's a big cloud. It's called a stratocumulus. Yes. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. Look, our shadows are getting longer. Ooh! That's because the sun is getting lower in the sky. It's nearly night time. My shadow has gone. Yes, Emily. When the sun sets, the shadows go away. Peppa, George, bedtime. OK, Daddy. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. It is bedtime. I'm a bit sad that my shadow's gone away. Don't be sad, Peppa. The electric light can make shadows. And we can make shadow puppets. Mummy Pig is using her hands to make a shadow puppet. It's a birdie! <laughs> <laughs> Listen to it sing. Tweet, tweet, I'm a little birdie. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. Pepper has made a spider. My name is Mr Skinny Legs. Oh, scary. <laughs> George is making a shadow puppet. What's that? George. Dinosaur. George has made a dinosaur. <laughs> That's really scary. Very good, George. <laughs> Daddy Pig is going to do a magic show. Peppa, remember what you have to say. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the amazing Mysterio.
OK, Daddy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's Magic Daddy. Hooray! For my first trick, Abracadabra. <gasps> wow, it's Daddy. For my next trick, I need a helper from the audience. Me, me, me. me. <laughs> I just need one. <sniffs> Young lady, you put your hand up first. Can you tell the audience your name? <laughs> Susie Sheep. OK, Susie, here are three balls. A red one, a blue one and a yellow one. OK. You have to secretly choose one while my back is turned. OK. Have you chosen one? Yes. Abracadabra! You chose yellow. No. Uh, abracadabra! Blue. No. Abracadabra! Red. Yes! It is red. Hooray! <laughs> Silly magic, Daddy. You said all three colours. Shush, Peppa. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> 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 Would you like one more trick? Yes, please. Ooh. Close your eyes. No looking. Say the magic words. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. Open your eyes. Ooh. Hooray! My banana birthday cake. Blow the candles out, Pepper. <gasps> And now, our play begins. <laughs> Grandma is at home. But who is this visitor? <laughs> On the big bad wolf. Well done, Danny! Um... Oh, dear. Danny has forgotten what he says next. Grandma, you must go in the cupboard. <laughs> go in the cupboard. The big bad wolf is pretending to be Grandma. Ooh. I am Little Red Riding Hood. I'm going to visit my Grandma. Bravo, Peppa. Daddy, you must not take photos. Oops. Sorry, Peppa. Carry on. <clears throat> I'm going to visit my Grandma. <laughs> oh, you don't look like my Grandma. <laughs> What big eyes do you have? <laughs> what big teeth do you have? <gasps> you are not Grandma. You are the big bad wolf. Ooh. Help! Oh, help! <gasps> but look who is here. Just in time. Pedro the Hunter. Help! Oh, help! Just in time. Pedro the Hunter. Pedro is a bit shy. Pedro, would you like me to come on with you? Yes, please. You are a very naughty wolf. <laughs> oh, so do, Grandma. Hooray! <clears throat> Thank you. Bravo! Bravo! <laughs> Pedro, you were very good. <laughs> You are almost as good as me. <laughs> Don't worry, there is something we can do with daisies. We can make a daisy chain. What's a daisy chain? I'll show you. First you take a daisy and make a little hole in the stem. Take another daisy and thread it through that hole. Then make a hole in that daisy stem and thread another daisy through that hole. Look, a daisy chain. Wow. wow. Let me try. Make a hole in the stem, thread a daisy through. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> we can join them together to make one big daisy chain necklace. There! Now you are the Daisy Queen, Peppa. Yes, I am the Daisy Queen. <laughs> look at me, look at me! <laughs> no, George, I am the Daisy Queen. You need to be something else. Oh. George, you can be a lion. 
And these dandelions can be your mane. <laughs> George is a dandelion. <laughs> George likes being a lion. <laughs> Children, come and get your food. <laughs> Look, everyone. I am the Daisy Queen, and this is George the Lion. Ooh. Ooh. And I know a trick to see if you like butter, Daddy. Really? Yes, you do like butter. Oh, oh I do. That's very clever, Pepper. Can I try? Mmm, yes. Daddy also likes eggs and tomato, cheese and cake. Wow! How do you know all that, Mummy? Because he's got bits of egg, tomato, cheese and cake all down his front. Ho, ho! <laughs> Daddy Pig loves picnics. Everybody loves picnics. It's World Book Day tomorrow and we have to dress up as someone from a book. That sounds exciting. Who are you going to be, Peppa? You've got lots of books to choose from. Yes! <laughs> I can go as a sleepy princess. From this book. Yes, I love reading you this story. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there lived a... Or maybe I can go as the red monkey. <laughs> I love that book too. Hmm, I can't decide. All the books are good. Why not go as Funny Onion from the book that Mummy Pig wrote? No, Daddy. It has to be a real book, not Mummy's book. <laughs> Thank you very much, Pepper. Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. 47685931 Most of Mummy Pig's book is one big long number. Yes, there were a few printing problems. How about this book? The Tiny Magic Fairy. Yes! <laughs> I'm a tiny magic fairy. <laughs> and George, what's your favourite book? I'm sure. Of course, your pop-up dinosaur book. <laughs> well, that's settled. George will go to World Book Day as a dinosaur and Peppa will go as a tiny fairy. Or maybe a duck. Quack, quack. It is nearly bedtime. Aha! I'm the happy pirate from the pirate book. <laughs> Pirates are my favourite because they are funny and they sing happy songs and... Brush their teeth? Yes, brush their teeth. <laughs> are we all ready for World Book Day tomorrow? No. <coughs> my favourite book keeps changing. Oh, oh, don't worry, Peppa. You can decide in the morning. <coughs> What's hysterical redemactment? It's when you dress up like it's the olden days. And sit around drinking tea. We do more than just drink tea. <coughs> Today, we were being Romans. What's Romans? Romans were people who lived a very long time ago. And I am the emperor. The emperor was the boss of all the Romans. Ooh. Goodbye. See you next week, Granny Pig. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Romans too? Yes, Pepper. Here are some helmets. <laughs> <laughs> now what do we do? We march around saying Veni, Vidi, Vici. What does that mean, Granny? It probably means anyone for another cup of tea. No. <laughs> it means I came, I saw, I conquered. Benny Vidi Vici. Benny Vidi Vici. <laughs> Granny Pig loves being a Roman. Benny Vidi Vici. <laughs> Pepper and George love being Romans too. Pepper and George have been doing some lovely pictures this morning. My goodness, they're very good. They look just like Polly. Just like Polly. <laughs> <laughs> the Romans like making pictures too, you know. They? Yes. They used coloured pieces to make pictures, known as mosaics. Here's one I made this morning. Ooh. Can we make a mosaic? What a good idea. You'll need some coloured pebbles. Follow me. I've got a whole bag of pebbles in my shed. 
This is Grandpa Pig's shed. Here we are. Lots of coloured pebbles. <laughs> George, what shall we make a picture of? Dinosaur. Good idea, George. You find the green pebbles for the dinosaur. Please, can we have some glitter? Please? Oh, all right. But only if you all promise to be very, very careful with it. We promise. OK. I will unlock the glitter cabinet. Madame Gazelle keeps the glitter safely locked away. Now, children, you did promise to use this glitter very carefully. It is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Ah! Glitter! Don't panic. Please remain calm. There was a glitter leak, but we have it under control now. <laughs> Today, the children have been making masks. Oh. Oh, oh, I'm here to pick up Pepper and George, but I can't see them anywhere. I'm a pretty butterfly. <laughs> flutter, flutter, flutter. <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Butterfly. I'm looking for two little piggies. Do you know where I can find them? <laughs> I tricked you! It's me! Peppa! What a surprise! But where is George? Grrr. Ah! <laughs> George, it's you! <laughs> I thought you were a dinosaur! <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle, I can't find Rebecca and Richard! Would you mind if I took these two carrots home instead? <laughs> Silly, Mummy! It's us! Oh, <laughs> Rebecca, Richard. <laughs> Come on, Pedro. Time to go home. I am not Pedro. I am Super Pony. Oh, does Super Pony want to come home? Or does Super Pony want to stay here for the night? Come home with you, please, Mummy. <laughs> Haven't we all had fun making wonderful masks? Who are you? It is I, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle loves masks. Everyone loves masks. <laughs> Today, we are going to talk about what you would like to be when you grow up. Ooh. You can use the dressing up box to help you decide. <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle? I don't know what I want to be when I grow up. Don't worry, Peppa. You have plenty of time to think about it. OK. When I grow up, I want to be the Queen. So I can tell people what to do. I see. I think I might like to be a teacher. What is it about being a teacher that you like the most, Emily? Telling people what to do. OK. I want to be a policeman when I grow up. The police drive cars with flashing lights. Nina, Nina, Nina. Thank Nina, you, Freddy. Nina, woo, woo. <laughs> what else do you like about being a policeman? They tell people what to do. Right. I would like to be a doctor or a nurse. Why do you think you would like that job, Susie? Because they help sick people get better. <laughs> Wonderful. And they tell people what to do. Yes, not all jobs are about telling people what to do. Oh! There are lots of other important jobs like being a builder or a poet. When I grow up, I will be a pirate. Aha! Pirates sing happy songs and they go yo-ho-ho. Ho. Yes, I'm not sure that being a pirate is a job as such. Either a pirate or a farmer. Oh, yes. Being a farmer is much better. You would grow things and make food for us all to eat. And I'll tell all the animals what to do. Right. I will be a superhero. Being a superhero is a very important job. You have to run faster than a train, jump tall buildings and... I don't want to do all of those superhero things, but I do want to tell people what to do. Uh, 
up, down, up, down, all together now. Mr. Potato is coming to town. <gasps> oh, no! The string has come loose. Ah, my balloon! <laughs> it's okay. I've caught it. Oh, I'm flying away. Help! We have to call the rescue service. <laughs> Rescue service. Mr. Potato's hanging from a balloon. Help! Help! I'll be right there. Wait a moment. I can't go and rescue with all this on. Who wants to be Carnival Queen while I do some rescuing? Me! 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 me. There you go. <laughs> I think I should be the queen because I am very good at being bossy. I can be bossy too. I should be the queen because I am the best at waving. <laughs> Why don't you all take it in turns to be queen? OK, I'll wear the crown. I'll sit on the throne. And I'll wear the cloak. <laughs> help! Help! Miss Rabbit is going to rescue Mr Potato. I'll just fly up from underneath. Ah, watch out! Oh, sorry, Mr Potato. Hang on, I'll go above. Miss Rabbit, what is your plan? I never have a plan. I just make it up as I go along. Autopilot on. Have a nice day. Autopilots fly helicopters on their own. Bye. Goodbye. Now, how can we get this balloon down? Shall I pop it? <gasps> no, don't pop the balloon. Oh, OK. I'll untie the knot. Miss Rabbit is going to let the air out of the balloon. Wait, wait! <laughs> Miss Rabbit has rescued Mr. Potato. Thank you! Hooray! We need some new clothes for George, please. <laughs> well, you're in luck! This is a clothes shop. <laughs> First, we need to measure you. <laughs> now hold your arms out. George thinks you're going to tickle him. I promise I won't tickle you, George. Very good. What a big, strong boy you are. <laughs> you see, George, Miss Rabbit didn't tickle you, did she? No. But I will. <laughs> George loves being tickled. Right, let's find George some new clothes. How about this? It will keep you very warm. Ooh. If George would kindly go into the changing booth, please. George is wearing a big, thick, woolly jumper. You look cuddly, George. <laughs> mm, I don't think white is the best colour for puddle jumping. Hmm. This isn't white. It's every other colour but white. George, you look like a clown. No. George does not want to look like a clown. Hmm. Too much colour. What about this, then? Now you look like a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's still not really George. Hmm. What about this, then? Basically, it's what you had before. Oh, yes. <laughs> George, you look like you. What do you think, George? Away! <laughs> George likes his new clothes. <laughs> Daddy, we're home. Oh, so George didn't get any new clothes, then. These are his new clothes, Daddy Pig. The same as before, but no holes. Ho, <laughs> oh, ho, oh, I see. Can we play in the garden now, Mummy? Yes, let's all play in the garden. Welcome to Tinyland, where everything is really tiny. And educational. Feast your eyes on the world of famous places. Wow! These are exact copies of real famous buildings, but a bit smaller. Ooh! Here's Big Ben, and next to it, the Eiffel Tower. 
just like it is in the real world. And the pyramids, Sydney Opera House, Statue of Liberty and the Kremlin. But these famous buildings aren't all on the same street in real life. Aren't they? Well, you learn something new every day. Oh, look at that! This is the land of water. Ooh, there are tiny little boats. And there's even a tiny Miss Rabbit. Boats! Boats! Get your boats here! <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is just one of my many jobs. This looks just like Pirate Island. And there are some pirates. Ha -ha! Ha -ha! <laughs> <laughs> what was that? This is the land of dinosaurs. Wow! This is how the world looked a long time ago, before houses and cars and stuff. Ah. Here is the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Ah. Ooh. And over there is a Triceratops. Ah. <laughs> One is a herbivore and the other is a carnivore. Ah. Oh, look! They are playing together, just as they would have done. Amazing! This is exactly as it would have been all those millions of years ago. Except for the train. All aboard! There you are again, Miss Rabbit, driving the train. Full steam ahead! Now we can bury it! Yes! And I'll stay here and guard the pirate ship. OK, Pirate Pedro, but don't fall asleep this time. I won't. Hurrah! <sighs> the pirates are off to bury the treasure chest. Over a hill, round the little bush. Let's bury it here! How will we know where we've Read it. Let's make a treasure map. Over the hill, round the little bush, and X marks the spot. X marks the spot. Pedro has fallen asleep again. Oh! I'm awake! I'm awake! Pedro, don't you wear glasses? Uh, hello. Mummy Pony has come to collect Pedro. Who goes there? I'm your mummy, Pedro. Pedro cannot see very well without his glasses. Where are your glasses? Um, I don't know, mummy. When did you last have them? When we put the treasure into the treasure chest. What treasure chest? The one we buried in the garden. Pedro's glasses are buried in the garden. Oh, dear. How are we going to find them now? We've got a treasure map. Mummy Pony is using Peppa's map to find the buried treasure. Over the hill, round the little bush, and X marks the spot. They have found the treasure. My glasses! Hurrah! <laughs> Thank you! Treasure maps are very useful. Especially for finding your glasses if you accidentally bury them. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know you can jump really high on the moon? Oh! How high? As high as a house! Why can you jump so high on the moon? Um. The gravitational pull is smaller on the moon. Oh, yes, that's it. They're quite the clever clogs, aren't we? Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. I was a little bit lonely up there with just the moon and the stars. And the most exciting bit was... What's the most exciting bit, Grumpy Rabbit? I can't hear you. Why has he stopped talking? Oh, dear. Grumpy Rabbit has lost his voice. I had better ring Dr. Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. Hello, Dr. Brown Bear. Grumpy Rabbit has lost his voice. Is that such a bad thing? Yes. He's giving an important talk about space rockets to the children. 
Oh, in that case, I'll be straight there. Hello, Grampy Rabbit. I hear you've lost your voice. Say, ah, please. I see, yes, a very serious case of losing a voice. Too much shouting, I imagine. Let's see if a little bit of medicine helps. Open wide. Try saying, ah, now. <coughs> Louder. That's better! <laughs> Not back to normal! But <laughs> getting there! Hooray! Now, where was I? You were just about to tell us the most exciting bit. Oh, yes! The most exciting bit was I wrote a song. Uh, would you like to hear it? No, no thank, thank you. you. Yes, please! I got up this morning. <laughs> Pepper has found a top hat. Danny Dog has found some spotty trunks and a stick-on moustache. <laughs> Pedro has found a clown outfit. Who wants makeup? Me, please. What does everyone want to be? I want to be the clown. But Pepper, where is your clown costume? Okay, you be the clown. I want to be the strong man. OK, Danny, you be the strong man. I want to be the juggler. But I wanted to do that. Wow! OK, you be the juggler. Grandpa, I don't have a job to do. You can be the ringmaster, Peppa. You've got the hat for it. What's a ringmaster? The ringmaster is the boss. Yes! Be the ringmaster. <laughs> what do I do? You say, Welcome to my circus. See the impossible, the amazing, the incredible feats of daring do. Ooh. Uh, welcome to my circus. It's got amazing feet. <laughs> <laughs> Moo! Granny Pig's garden party guests are here. Hello, everyone. You're in for a treat. The circus has come to town. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my circus. Now, please be very scared of the amazing candy cat. <laughs> I was a strong man once. I used to lift tractors. <sighs> Ice creams for everyone. The cafe should be just about here. Oh. Where's the cafe? Is it behind that rotten pile of wood? I think that rotten pile of wood is the cafe. Oh. <laughs> There's not going to be any ice creams coming out of that today. Hello. What can I get you? Oh. A cup of coffee and three ice creams, please. Of course. Thank you. Mmm. Delicious. Next stop, the fish pond. This way. Oh, you don't want to go that way. That goes straight into a blackberry bush. Aha. It's the shortcut. It's the way I went when I was a boy. No. If you want to go to the fish pond, you need to go up that path. Well, I'm taking the shortcut. All right. Who wants to go through a blackberry bush? Me. And who wants to go on the path? Me. <laughs> Race you, Daddy. Ho, ho. I'll get there first. Bye. I hope the fish pond is still here. Yes, everything seems a bit different to what Daddy remembers. What's that? It's the fish pond. George, let's see the little fish. 
Oh, Daddy said that the fish were tiny. But they're ginormous. It's been a long time since Daddy was here. The fish have got a lot bigger. <laughs> like Daddy's tummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where is Daddy? Oh, he might be lost. I'd better ring him. There's a phone ringing in that bush. Hello, Mr Pig speaking. It's Daddy. Oh, <laughs> hello. I'm stuck. Hello, Daddy. Hang on, we'll pull you out. One, two, three, pull! <laughs> Daddy is a blackberry bush. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the fish pond. Let's see the little fish. Whoa, that's a big fish. Oh, look, there's something glittering. Ooh. George has found a spider in the sink. <laughs> George wants the spider to be his friend. George likes the spider. <laughs> the spider likes George. <laughs> Pepper loves playing tea parties. <laughs> Where are all the chocolate biscuits, Daddy? We had lots yesterday. Oh, I'm sorry, Mummy. I must have eaten them all. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Naughty Daddy. George is putting the spider to bed. Night, night. George, what are you doing? You have to help me with the tea party. <coughs> help! Help! Daddy! There's a spider in my bedroom. Oh, oh don't worry, Pepper. Please, Daddy, take it away. <laughs> no need to panic. Hello, George. Have you seen the spider? It's too scary. Take it away. There's no need to be afraid, Pepper. Spiders are very, very small and they can't hurt you. But don't worry. Daddy will take it out of the bedroom. Whoa! He's quite big, isn't he? Um, I'll just fetch Mummy Pig. Mummy Pig! <laughs> Hello, Mr Skinny Legs. Pepper feels a little bit braver. He likes being in my doll's house. Hello, children. I hear you found a little spider. I'll take him out of the bedroom so you two can play. Mummy, his name is Mr Skinnylegs. Ah! Mr Skinnylegs is big, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome aboard, me hearties. Pepper, George, let's put your life jackets on. <laughs> when Pepper and George are on Grandpa Pig's boat, they must wear life jackets. On this boat, I'm the captain. Aye, aye, captain. Aye, aye, captain. <laughs> when Captain Grandpa tells you all to do something, you must do it. Unless it's something silly. Captain Grandpa never says anything silly. Of course not, Captain Grandpa. <laughs> George, raise the flag. <laughs> Peppa, ring the bell. Aye, aye, Captain. Granny Pig, take the wheel. Aye, aye, Captain. Full sail. <laughs> Maybe you should go a little slower, Grandpa Pig. Good idea, Granny Pig. I don't want to use up all my petrol. Grandpa, I liked it when we went fast. Don't worry, Pepper. We'll go fast later. Look! There's another boat! Here's Grandad Dog. He's taking Danny Dog out for a day on the river. Ahoy there, Grandad Dog! Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig! Hello, Danny. <coughs> Hello, Pippa. <coughs> <laughs> Grandad Dog is Grandpa Pig's very best friend. 
I'm surprised your boat is still afloat, Granddad Dog. It must be almost as old as you are. This old boat can go faster than your rusty bucket a day, Grandpa Pig. All right, you old sea dog. Race you. Prepare to lose, water hog. <laughs> Why are you wearing that funny hat? Oh, oh, oh. This is my beret. It puts me in the mood for painting pictures. Now, what shall I paint? <laughs> well chosen, George. I'll paint the old cherry tree. What's that? It's an easel, Pepper. It holds my canvas. What's a canvas? It's a bit like paper for very special paintings. Is that toothpaste? Oh, oh no, Pepper. These are special paints for grown-up artists. There. What colour shall we begin with? Red, please. Why red, Pepper? Red is my favourite colour. But first we need to paint the sky. Look, what colour is it? Blue, of course. Very good. Let's start with blue. <laughs> now for the cherry tree. We need green for the leaves. But there isn't any green. Never mind. If we mix blue paint with yellow paint, we can make green. Mixing blue and yellow makes green. Ooh. What lovely green leaves. And here's some grass. What about the branches? We haven't got brown paint. We can make brown. We'll mix the green and the red. Mixing green and red makes brown. Ooh. Daddy Pig paints the tree trunk and the branches. Wow! <laughs> Daddy, can I paint the cherries? Yes, Pepper. Put your finger in the paint and dab it onto the tree. <laughs> One, two, three. Well done. Now it's George's turn. <laughs> <laughs> what a great painter you are, George. Every castle needs a flag. Wow! They've got a flag. We don't need a silly flag. Here is Granny Pig. Hello, girls. Can I get you anything? A flag, please. And it must be better than the boy's flag. I'll see what I can do. I'm the king of the castle. Ho, ho. Every castle needs a telephone. Hold this. Keep this string nice and tight and you can talk to the boys. We don't want to talk to the boys. We don't want to talk to the girls. <laughs> Granny Pig has found a flag for the girls' den. This dress will make a pretty flag. Thank you, Granny. It isn't as good as the boys' flag. I wish we were in the castle. Fairy princesses live in castles. If I were a fairy princess, I would live in a tree house. Can we come over, please? Only if you say the castle is the best. It is the best. <laughs> I'm staying in my tree house. <laughs> I love the castle. <laughs> oh dear, it is raining and the castle has no roof. Let's go to the tree house. No, I'll never leave my castle. <laughs> the rain has stopped. <laughs> George has found a muddy puddle. That looks fun. <laughs> I'm staying in my castle. Play dressing up. I was asking Leo. Oh. Rah! Leo says he likes playing dressing up. Good. Come on, Leo. <laughs> 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 
Peppa and Susie are playing dressing up. Peppa is going to be a fairy. I grant you one wish. My wish is to be Queen Susie. And Leo Lion will be the jester. He doesn't want to be the jester. He wants to be the king. Here is Daddy Pig. <sniffs> Mummy Pig tells me you have a very special visitor. It's only Susie, Daddy. Are you sure there isn't someone else, Peppa? There is someone else. King Leo Lion. Hooray! <laughs> it's an honour to meet you, King Leo. Daddy Pig pretends he can see King Leo. May I say what a fine golden mane you have? Yes, it is very fine. And he is wearing his best red trousers. Oh, yes. And his blue jumper. Silly Pepper, Leo isn't wearing a blue jumper. He's wearing his best green shirt. Well, it is sort of a bluey green. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper, Susie, your friends are here. Pepper's friends are here. They're all wearing their boots. Let's jump in muddy puddles. Yes! <laughs> Are you sure Leo should jump in puddles without his boots? Oh, I forgot. Leo's wearing his boots as well. <laughs> Look at Leo. He's jumping up and down too. <laughs> Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Even pretend friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, we can't decide what to throw out. I know. We'll let Pepper and George decide. Okay. <laughs> Let's throw away this old case. Oh, oh not, not that, that one. one. This isn't just any old case. It's a record player. Ooh. And this was our favourite record. Can we play it? Yes. Oh, oh, we haven't heard it for years. Oh, this takes me back. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Pepper and George. Let's dance. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig is here to pick up Pepper and George. Hello? Where are you? Mummy Pig cannot find anyone. What's that noise? <laughs> <laughs> Mummy! Hello? We've been dancing to Granny and Grandpa's favourite record. Yes. <laughs> Granny and Grandpa played it all the time. Ooh, and here's the record I used to play when I was a little piggy. What is it? It's called Birdie Birdie Woof Woof. Not Birdie Birdie Woof Woof. You were always playing that. I thought we'd thrown that out ages ago. Ah. The birds go woof and the dogs go tweet. Woof tweet, woof tweet, woof woof woof. <laughs> the sheep go moo and the cows go ba. Moo ba, woof tweet, woof ba, moo tweet, woof woof woof. <laughs> <laughs> Woof. And the <laughs> Granny Pig, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are still waiting to eat dinner. That bedtime story doesn't seem to be working. I'm the expert at telling bedtime stories. I'll have them asleep in no time. Ah, a scary chicken! <laughs> Peppa, George, back to bed. But Grandpa hasn't finished the story yet. Daddy. I'll finish the story. I'll be down in a minute. <laughs> OK. There's a boy, a beanstalk, a castle, a beautiful princess, a brave knight, a cook, a wizard and a scary dragon. And a very hungry king. So they all had a big dinner and lived happily ever after. The end. Then they had a party. <laughs> right.
right. I think I'd better sort this out. <laughs> Daddy Pig. They're almost asleep. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take over now. You have to finish the story, Mummy. All right, quickly now. Tell me what's happened. Once upon a time, in olden days, a long time ago... Mummy Pig's been up there for a long time. I can hear snoring. At last, Pepper and George are asleep. And then they all lived happily ever after. The end. Pepper, George. Shush! Mummy is asleep. <laughs> it looks like Princess Pepper is the best at telling bedtime stories. That's right. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has come dressed as pirates. Yo-ho-ho! Ho! Pedro Pony is dressed as a cowboy. Yee-haw! <laughs> Hi there, me hearties. It is Grandad Dog, dressed as a pirate. Hello, Grandad Dog. Call me Dogbeard. Hello, Dogbeard. <laughs> Which of ye scurvy pirates crave a ration of swashbuckling o'er the brainy seas? Why is he talking funny? <laughs> That's pirates talk. If you want to play my pirate game, say arr. Arr. Is this a dangerous game? No, Pedro. Grandad Dog has promised me it will be a very safe game. Aww. But it will be exciting. So who wants to play? Arr. Here be the plan. Time was, I had a heap of gold that was mine by right, but I was horn swallowed by one cat and hog. What? Pirate talk is a bit difficult to understand. Captain Hog took my treasure. Oh! Know you, the Captain Hog is a fearsome pirate. Some of you may already know him as Grandpa Pig. Ah! Grandpa Pig! <laughs> the game is to go to Captain Hog's hideout and get back my treasure without being caught. Hooray! Everyone is excited to be playing the pirate game. Hello, Grandpa Pig. We're on our way. Jolly good. Jolly good. Grandpa Pig and Polly Parrot are guarding the pirate treasure. Be the black galleon fast and the wind at our backs will away! What does that mean? Run to the boat! Yo ho ho! Yee <laughs> Pedro Pony, what is your talent? Magic tricks. Ahem. <clears throat> Here is a glass of water. It is wet and see-through. Ah! Now I will make the water disappear. Ooh! Please close your eyes. Open your eyes. The water has gone. Thank you. Emily Elephant. I'm going to play the recorder. <gasps> and what is your talent, Rebecca? I can make a special noise. It only works if I go up on my tiptoes. That was very good. Yes, but what can I do? Candy, what is your talent? Skipping. I was going to do skipping, but I can still do dancing and singing. My talent is singing. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I can still do dancing. Susie Sheep, what is your talent? Dancing. No, you can't dance. Oh, dear. Dancing was Peppa's last talent. It is so nice that everyone has chosen a different talent to perform. Now, who do we have left? 
Peppa. I was going to skip or sing or dance. But they've all been done. A talent can be anything, Peppa. All the countries are playing in the playground. <laughs> the United Kingdom is on the slide. Whee! France and Switzerland are on the swings. <laughs> Germany is playing hopscotch. One, two, three. America, Russia, Spain and Greece are in the sandpit. <laughs> I'm building a big sandcastle. <laughs> Yeehaw! Here are Holland and Japan. Ahem. Now it's our turn in the sand pit. Why? Because you've had your turn. You can play on the slide now. But we want to play here. <laughs> oh dear. There is not enough room in the sand pit for more than four countries. <laughs> What's going on? It's our turn in the sand pit. But we were here first. Is Susie being a bit bossy? George started it. Leave George alone. He's only little. <coughs> hello, hello, hello. What's all this noise about then? Nay. They're trying to push us out of the sandpit. No, we're not. Yes, you are. George started it. That's That's nice. Nice. Oh dear. The countries of the world are not playing nicely together. Peace and harmony in all the what? What's that noise? No, oh no! The countries are fighting. We can't play in the sand pit. Yes, we can. It's not no, fair. No, 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 no. Stop arguing, <laughs> Susie. You're always telling people what to do. No, I am not. Absolutely. Children, children. What is happening? <laughs> America, Russia, Spain and Greece won't share the sand pit. <laughs> Holland is being bossy. You're the bossy one. That is enough. Is this how you think the countries of the world behave? Um, don't they? Of course not. Sorry, Madame Gazelle. But just as he finished, Baby Bear walked in and said, Oi! Did you eat my magic porridge? Georgie said, Yes. Baby Bear said, That was magic porridge. It will make you go very big. And then Georgie Pig began to grow. He grew and he grew and he grew until he was taller than all of the trees in the forest. The end. Are you sleepy, George? No. Not even a little bit? No. <sighs> OK, I'll do a bit more story. Baby Bear said there is a box of golden treasure at the end of the world. But it's too far for me to go, because I'm too little. Georgie said, I will carry you there. So Georgie Pig walked to the end of the world. He walked and he walked and he walked. Are you sleepy yet? No. He walked through forests, across mountains, across seas. And are you sleepy yet? No. He walked all the way to the end of the world and found a big box of golden treasure. Ooh. And a big dragon. Grrr. Yes, a big green dragon with little wings and breathing fire. Roar! Luckily, it was a very friendly dragon. And he said, you can have the treasure. But then Georgie Pig began to shrink. He shrank and he shrank and he shrunk until he was the same little Georgie Pig as he was before. How will we get back home now? said Baby Bear. I can fly you home, said the dragon. So Georgie Pig and Baby Bear hopped on the dragon's back and flew all the way back home to the little house in the 
forest. Sure, we'll find you a lovely new dinosaur here, George. I'm sure. George does not want a new dinosaur. Look, George, a big dinosaur. <gasps> dinosaur. <laughs> Good morning. Can I help you? We'd like the dinosaur in the window, please. Certainly. Good choice. This is the dino roar. It roars, it walks, and it sings a dinosaur song. Dino roar, dino roar, listen to the dino roar. Roar! Wow! wow. Dino roar! <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> roar! <laughs> George is playing with Dino Roar in the garden. Don't play too roughly with Dino Roar, George. He has moving parts and might get broken. George cannot play with Dino Roar in the garden. George wants to play with Dino Roar in the bath. George, if you get Dino Roar wet, he'll stop working. George cannot play with Dino Roar in the bath. <sighs> It is night time. George has taken Dino Roar to bed with him. Roar! <gasps> George! Dino Roar, Dino Dino Roar, Roar has woken me up! Dino Roar. Maybe Dino Roar should sleep Dino Roar somewhere else. George cannot have Dino Roar in his bed at night. It is morning. Why is George looking so sad? George cannot play with Dino Roar in the garden, in the bath, or in bed. Never mind, George. Dino Roar can still roar. Dino Roar, Dino Roar, listen to the Dino Roar. Yeah. Oh. I think the batteries must have run out, Daddy Pig. Already? How many batteries are in here? Hundreds and thousands. <laughs> Mr. Skinny Legs. <laughs> oh, where have you gone? Find it. I don't want it in the house. Everyone is looking for Mr. Skinny Legs. Mr. Skinny Legs is not in the filing cabinet. Oh. Mr. Skinny Legs is not under the chair. Oh. Mr. Skinny Legs is not on the table. Oh. I wonder where Mr. Skinny Legs is. <laughs> oh, oh. It sounds like Mummy has found him. Don't be scared, Mummy. Get rid of it. OK. We'll take Mr Skinny Legs into the garden. <laughs> <laughs> now Mr Skinny Legs has got the whole garden to play in. Bye-bye, Mr Skinny Legs. It is starting to rain. <laughs> Mr Skinny Legs is running back to the house. Maybe he doesn't like the rain. He's climbing up the water spout. Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and was poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. Incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want Mr. Skinny Legs in the house, Daddy Pig. Let's take Mr. Skinny Legs a bit further into the garden. There we are. A nice tree for you to live in. <laughs> what is he doing? He's making a web, Pepper. Spiders live in webs and use them to catch flies. Oh! He's very busy. Yes. It's hard work building a web. That's why you must never, ever break one. If you do, the spider has to do all the work again. Yes, Daddy. Bye-bye, <coughs> Mr Skinny Legs. <coughs> I don't think it's that big red button, George. That would be too obvious. Oh. Yes, we try to keep it simple. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> This passage has led us to the dining hall. Wow! This must be the medieval banquet. Yes, it looks really tasty. It's all made of plastic. 
Yes, it's to show what a real banquet would have looked like. Oh. But of course, as part of the tour, you get to have your very own real medieval banquet. Fantastic. Here it is, your banquet in a box. The oldie cheese sandwich, Jester's pickle and a king's jelly. It's a little picnic in a box. Yes, it's not quite the medieval banquet I was expecting. And now it's time to meet the dragon. <laughs> George, it won't be a real dragon. Dragons are just pretend. Yes, don't be sad if it's just Miss Rabbit holding a little glove puppet. Oh! Wow. Miss Rabbit is driving a huge robot dragon. Do you want to see it breathe fire? Yes, please! <laughs> I'm just going to park it! Oh, it's heading for our car! Another reason we say cars are parked at owner's risk. And that's the end of the tour! Hope you had a lovely time. I think that was George's best day out ever. <laughs> George loves castles. Everyone loves castles. Miss Rabbit, please come to our rescue. It's very important. Come quickly. I'm on my way. All the children have brought their pumpkin lanterns to playgroup. Welcome to the pumpkin competition. If everyone is here, we will get started. Peppa isn't here. Oh, where is she? Miss Rabbit's rescue helicopter has arrived at Grandpa's greenhouse. So, who needs rescuing? My pumpkin! We have to get it to the playgroup in time for the competition. OK. Hop aboard! <laughs> <laughs> Next stop, the playgroup. I think we will have to start without Peppa. Aw, it won't be fun without Peppa. The prize for the best pumpkin grown from seed goes to Susie Sheep. That's me! This is fun. <laughs> the prize for the best pumpkin bought from a supermarket goes to Pedro Pony. That's me. Nay. The prize for the best plastic pumpkin goes to... What's that noise? Look. What's that? There's a light in the sky. Ooh. <laughs> it's a flying pumpkin. It's Papa's pumpkin. Wow. For the best flying pumpkin goes to Peppa Pig. Hooray! <laughs> this is the best Halloween ever. <laughs> Peppa loves Halloween. Everyone loves Halloween. What I've got. Great. That's your castle almost done. Hooray! Hooray! It's not almost done. We have to stick things on. Paint it, add the glitter. Glitter? Hello? Hello, can I speak to Peppa, please? Peppa, it's Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. How's your school project going? I'm doing very well. More pointy, Mummy, and it needs to be taller. How is your castle going? It's quite hard work, but my Mummy and Daddy are helping a little tiny bit. Uh, what do you think of this tower, Peppa? Very good, but it still looks a bit cardboardy. Hmm, maybe I can paint it. I need to get on with my work now, Susie. See you tomorrow. Bye bye, Peppa. What do you think, Peppa? Wow, that looks just like a castle. Oh, we got there in the end. Hmm, it just needs one more thing. Glitter! Oh, um, glitter would stop the castle looking real. And anyway, we've, um, completely run out of glitter. <laughs> Peppa and her friends have brought their castles back to playgroup. Wow, a fairy palace. 
That must have been a bit tricky for you to make, Susie. No, it was easy. <laughs> My castle is made out of a cardboard box. It is a very fine castle. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. Pedro, did you not make a castle? I did, but it's too big to bring into school. Uh, we built it out of stone blocks. Isn't it wonderful what the children can make using just their imaginations? And my castle really is big enough for me to live in. <laughs> Peppa loves school projects. <laughs> Everyone loves school projects. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, would you like your face painted? Yes, please. Can I be an elephant? Oh, dear. I don't know how to do elephants. I can do tigers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a tiger, please. There you are, Peppa. Now you're a tiger. <laughs> I'm a tiger. George, what would you like to be? Dinosaur. Grr. A dinosaur? Uh. How about a tiger instead? I'm good at tigers. <laughs> I'm a tiger. <laughs> so am I. Woof, woof. Meow. Tigers don't say woof woof. How do you know? Because tigers are big cats. Meow. And I'm a cat. Candy, please can you teach us how to be tigers? OK. Tigers creep very, very slowly. And then they jump. <laughs> <laughs> Tigers like to lick themselves clean. But best of all, when tigers are happy, they purr. Hello, children. My goodness, you're all tigers. And I'm teaching them to be proper tigers. <laughs> what do you little tigers want to do next? That's right. We have to find George a dinosaur balloon. <laughs> Let's get you all balloons. Hooray! <laughs> Hello, Madam Gazelle. We'd like some balloons, please. Certainly. I've got lots of different ones. Can I have an elephant balloon, please? Here you are, Peppa. Can I have a kangaroo? A lion, please. A monkey, please. A parrot, please. <laughs> Let's stay awake all night and see the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> <laughs> this Tooth Fairy is very late. <sighs> the Tooth Fairy is taking a long time to arrive. Where is that Tooth Fairy? <laughs> what is that noise? Is it the Tooth Fairy? George? Can you hear something? Oh, George. Oh, the noise is George. He was so tired he has fallen asleep. George is not very good at staying awake, but I am. I'm going to stay awake and see the Tooth Fairy. But I'm not going to sleep. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> The Tooth Fairy has arrived. But Peppa is asleep. Hello, Peppa. Would you like this coin in return for your tooth? What a nice, clean tooth. Thank you, Peppa. Good night. Peppa, George, wake up. It's morning. I wasn't asleep. Did the Tooth Fairy come? No. Let's take a look under your pillow. Oh, look, Peppa. The Tooth Fairy has been and she's left you a coin. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> you fell asleep, didn't you? Well, maybe I fell asleep just for a little bit. <laughs> Next time I will stay awake and I will see the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> Here's a treasure map for Peppa. 
And George could wear my pirate hat. Ahoy there, Captain George. <laughs> the map is a bit difficult. Daddy, can you help? Of course, Pepper. I'm very good with maps. Uh, it is a bit difficult. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you're holding the map upside down. Yes, I thought as much. <laughs> it's easy. The Red Cross shows where the treasure is. But where in the garden are those two apple trees? Hmm, I don't know. Would you like a clue? Yes, please. <laughs> the first clue is in a bottle. <laughs> but where is the bottle? <laughs> I can see it! <laughs> Pepper has found the first clue. A message in a bottle. <laughs> Here's the bottle. Well done, Pepper. Let's see what the message says. Oh, it's a message from a pirate. Mummy, can you read the pirate's message? Hmm, this pirate has very bad handwriting. The pirate's handwriting is excellent. No, I can't make it out at all. The pirate is clearly written. Follow the arrows. Follow the arrows? <laughs> George has found the second clue. Sticks in the shape of an arrow. Look, they point this way. <laughs> Peppa and George are following the arrows. <laughs> Look, George, a key. Peppa has found the next clue. A key. Well done, Peppa. <laughs> now you just have to find the treasure chest that it unlocks. But there aren't any more clues. Maybe you should take another look at the map. <laughs> and all my friends will come to visit. <laughs> <laughs> and I will fly a space rocket. Hello! <laughs> Now we'll record a message for the people of the future. Say hello to the future. Hello to the future. <coughs> You're probably all living on the moon now. And going on holiday to Mars. And flying around in space rockets. <laughs> 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 Wonderful. <coughs> it is nearly home time and all the parents have arrived. <coughs> Mummy, Daddy, We've made a time capsule. Ah, Daddy Pig, you're just in time to help us dig a hole. Yes, of course. Daddy Pig is digging a hole in the school garden for the time capsule. There. Can we dig it up now? Oh, it will remain in the ground for many years. Oh. But I can't wait that long. Pepper, you are just like your daddy when he was little. Am I? Yes, I remember when I was his teacher. Did you teach my daddy? Yes, I taught all of your mummies and daddies. Didn't I? Yes, yes mademoiselle. <laughs> <laughs> when your mummies and daddies were little, they made a time capsule too. Yes, we did. We buried it next to a little tree. Can we dig it up? Yes, I think we buried it over here. Oh, I thought it was a much smaller tree. Oh, it was a long time ago. The tree has grown a bit since then. <laughs> George, you could wear my pirate hat. <laughs> Today we are sailing to Pirate Island. If we're lucky, we might find buried treasure. Wow! Pirate Island sounds like a great place. Land ahoy! <laughs> Here we are. Pirate Island. Hooray! What's that? It's a metal detector. It finds buried treasure. Grandpa Pig is using the metal detector to find buried treasure. Aha! 
The metal detector has found something. Let's dig it up. It's a little coin. Treasure! Hooray! Let's find some more. Ah, we found something else. It sounds big. <laughs> My goodness, this piece of treasure is quite heavy. Oh dear, that is not buried treasure. That is a rusty old shopping trolley. Oh. <laughs> Maybe that's enough treasure hunting. Who wants to help build a big sandcastle? Me! What a good idea, Granny Pig. Now I'll just check on the boot. Granny Pig is going to help the children build a big sandcastle. And Grandpa Pig is doing important boat things. Ah, this is nice. Oh, maybe I'll just close my eyes for a little bit. <laughs> Granny and the children are making a big sandcastle. <laughs> To be a doctor, but who's going to be the sick person? George! <laughs> Peppa and Susie love playing doctors and nurses. So does George. Peppa listens to George's chest. Now, George, take a big breath in, then cough. <gasps> Hmm, I think your heart's a bit loose. How about a plaster on it? <laughs> Open wide, please. Susie takes George's temperature. Oh dear, you're very, very hot. I think you have to stay in bed for three years. <laughs> Daddy Pig has come to find George. Oh no, what's wrong with George? Don't worry, Daddy, it's only a game. George is our patient. Oh, I see. Can the patient have a visitor? Just for a little while. He might get tired. Cookies! Yes, they're for George. They're his medicine to make him feel better. <laughs> um, excuse me, Doctor. Can you help me? I have a sore tummy. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear him rumbling. I think you're hungry, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> then I think I need lots of cookies to make me better. <laughs> <laughs> and me. And me. And me. <laughs> <laughs> your arms. Imagine that you are beautiful swans. And what noise do you think a swan might make? Meow. <coughs> 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 Nay. <coughs> Oh, 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 and beauty. Peppa loves dancing. Everyone loves dancing. <laughs> mummy, mummy, we all danced as swans. Peppa did very well. I had to dance beautifully and gracefully. That's lovely. Can I show you how I did it? Let's get home first. Then you can show Daddy Pig and George and me. Bye-bye. Peppa and Mummy Pig are home. <laughs> Daddy George, I'm going to show you how to do ballet. Is it difficult? It was easy for me. But you, George and Mummy, will find it very hard. First, we need music. Good. Now, George, Daddy and Mummy, you must copy what I do. 
Madame Gazelle used funny words, but really, it's just bending your knees and jumping. Ah, the petit jeté. Daddy, you know the funny words. <laughs> Mummy Pig and I used to be quite good at ballet. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Our favourite was the pas de deux. And she was called the Sleepy Princess. Daddy, why was she called that? I'll get to that later. Was the Sleepy Princess pretty? Yes, she was very pretty. She loved looking at herself in the mirror. <laughs> Who else was living at the castle? Uh, well... The others in the castle were the small prince, <coughs> Queen Mummy <coughs> and King Daddy. <coughs> That's right. They were all living there as well. Did King Daddy have a big tummy? Of course not. He was very handsome, like me. <coughs> <coughs> anyway, there was also a dragon. A dinosaur? Oh, yes, it wasn't a dragon. It was a dinosaur. Living outside was a huge, fierce dinosaur. Oh, dear. Maybe the dinosaur wasn't quite that fierce, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Sorry, George. No, the dinosaur was very gentle. It ate lots of grass. Daddy Pig! Oh, sorry. I was being the dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, why is the princess called the Sleepy Princess? I'm coming to that. You see, the sun set, then the stars and moon came out, and everyone got very sleepy. Ooh. <sighs> but the most sleepy of all was the sleepy princess. <sighs> Pepper, are you sleepy? Meow. I'm a witch. I can turn you into a frog. Nay. I'm a clown. <laughs> That's funny. What are you, Rebecca Rabbit? I'm a carrot. <laughs> Fantastic. Come in. There's a fairy princess and a dinosaur waiting to meet you. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Susie. I'm Princess Peppa. <laughs> you must bow when you speak to me. Hello, Your Majesty. <laughs> I'm Nurse Susie. Open wide and say, ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Nay. I'm a clown. Do something funny. <laughs> well, Rebecca, why are you dressed as a carrot? I like carrots. <laughs> <laughs> dinosaur. <gasps> a scary dinosaur. <laughs> Pepper is admiring herself in the mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? <laughs> You are Peppa. <laughs> Meow. Hello, Peppa. Hello. I'm a little fairy princess. <sniffs> I'm a witch. Meow. And I've got a magic wand. I've got a magic wand too. I can turn you into a frog. And I'll turn you into a frog. <laughs> <laughs> Dinosaur. <laughs> Oh, dear. George is scared of his own reflection. Oh, silly George. <laughs> Look, it's you in the mirror. <laughs> Children, it's time to decide who has the best fancy dress costume. We need a judge. Me, me. <laughs> As it's Peppa's party, maybe she should be the judge. I'm the judge. I'm the judge. Daddy, what is a judge? <laughs> <laughs> now I need to look beautiful, just like Mummy. Peppa has found Mummy's makeup box. Aha! Uh -huh. 
<laughs> For some powder. Lovely. Now for some lipstick. What a pretty mummy pig. <laughs> Come along, Daddy Pig. It's time to go to work. <laughs> mummy Pig is working on her computer. <laughs> hello, Pepper. Hello, George. I beg your pardon. Pepper, I was just saying hello. I'm not Peppa Pig. I'm Mummy Pig. Oh, yes, of course. Hello, Mummy Pig. Hello. <coughs> and this is Daddy Pig. George. <coughs> and hello to you too, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I've got a lot of work to do. Hello. Yes. Do this, do that. No, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Peppa is enjoying pretending to be Mummy Pig. But George is getting a bit bored. Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm nearly finished. There. All done. Come on, Daddy Pig. It's time you did some work. Goodbye, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig is digging in the garden. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. I'm not Peppa. I'm Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <coughs> Daddy Pig is here to do some work. That's very kind of you, Daddy Pig. <coughs> wow. The magnifying glass makes George's eyes look very big. <laughs> <laughs> now what you detectives need is a mystery to solve. Daddy, what's a miss story? A mystery is something detectives are good at sorting out. <laughs> like finding things that are lost. I know, we can find George's toy dinosaur. <laughs> That's always getting lost. Dinosaur. <laughs> Mr Dinosaur is not lost. Oh. <laughs> what about your glasses, Daddy? You're always losing them. Oh, not today. I'm wearing my glasses. It's not fair. There aren't any Miss Stories. <laughs> Would you like me to make you a mystery? Yes, please. <laughs> Daddy Pig is going to make a mystery. Now, what's on the table? The little fish, Teddy, a jack-in-the-box and Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> That's right. Now look very hard and try to remember them all. The little fish, Teddy, a jack-in-the-box and Mr Dinosaur. Have you remembered them? Yes. <laughs> OK. You just have to go outside for a moment. I'll call you when I'm ready. It sounds like Daddy is going upstairs. And now he is coming down again. All right. You can come back inside now. <laughs> One thing is missing from the table. Do you know what? Mr Dinosaur is there. Little fish. Jack in a box. So who's missing? Um, Teddy! That's right. Teddy's gone. Well done, Pepper and George. It was quite easy for us. We are famous detectives. Ah, but that's only half the mystery. Where has Teddy gone? Ooh, there is something. Yes, it's a crab. Ah! The crab is pinching Grandpa Pig's finger. Oh! Ouch! Naughty Mr. Crab. <laughs> Look, George. Mr. Crab is walking sideways. <laughs> George is pretending to be a crab. <laughs> Pepper wants to be a crab too. We're naughty crabs. Pinch, pinch, pinch. <laughs> pinch, pinch, pinch. Help! There are two naughty crabs trying to pinch me. Pinch, pinch, pinch. We're naughty crabs. Pinch, pinch, pinch. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Shoo, 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 you naughty crabs. Go back to your little rock pools. Yes. <laughs> 
Let's look in more rock pools. <laughs> what can you see? A seashell. Can you hear the sea in it? What do you mean? If you put a shell to your ear, you can hear the sea. Wow! I can hear the sea. <laughs> I love my seashell. George, can you find a seashell too? <laughs> shell! That's not a shell. Oh. Pepper's right. That's not a shell. George has found a fossil. What's a fossil? A fossil is the remains of an animal that lived long ago, when there were dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Rock pools are such fun. Yes, they're fun for us, but not... I'm a bit hungry. So am I. Grandpa's left us a picnic in the galley. What's a galley? A galley is a boat's little kitchen. Follow me. Pepper and George are going inside the boat. Wow! <laughs> what a tiny little kitchen. Where's the picnic? The obvious place would be here. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a picnic. Then it must be here. And that's not a picnic. This kitchen has everything in the wrong place. Wow! TV! Daddy Pig cannot find the picnic. It's impossible. If this was my kitchen, the picnic would be here. Oh, well done, Pepper. Pepper has found the picnic. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious! <laughs> oh, it's the ducks. Hello, Mrs. Duck. Would you like some bread? <laughs> Peppa and George love feeding bread to ducks. <laughs> Look out! Long reeds ahead. Don't worry. Grandpa's boat will easily go through them. Are we stuck? No. We can reverse. Now are we stuck? Yes. Oh, dear. Grandpa's boat is stuck in the reeds. I'll just give it a little push. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. I know what I'm doing. When I say go, start the engine. Aye, aye, Captain, Captain Daddy, Daddy Pig. Go! Daddy Pig has pushed the boat out of the reeds. Hooray! Quick, Daddy! Jump back on the boat! <laughs> oh, no! Daddy Pig is being left behind. Swift Master Daddy! Stop the engine! What's he saying? Stop the engine! Daddy says, stop the engine! What? Where's the flag? <laughs> Peppa, ring the bell! Peppa, ring the bell! <laughs> Grandpa, can I be the cat? Ten, please. OK. But as captain, you must wear this hat. <laughs> now Pepper is the captain, and everyone must do what she says. Ring the bell. Turn that wheel. Aye, aye, Captain Pepper. Jump up and down. Oh. <laughs> captain Pepper is a bit bossy. Perhaps I should be the captain again. We don't want to crash into anything. Steering the boat can be tricky. Luckily, I'm good at steering. Oh, oh dear. Grandpa Pig's boat has crashed into a little island. Grandpa, we're stuck. I'll ring Granny Pig. She can get help. <coughs> Whoa! Oh. Grandpa Pig has dropped his phone in the water. Granny Pig speaking. Hello? 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 Somehow, we need to get a message to Granny. Ah, uh, message to Granny? <laughs> Polly can fly to Granny. Good idea, Pepper. And I can teach Polly what to say. 
Grandpa Pig says... Grandpa Pig says... Help! 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 There you see. Easy peasy. Grandpa Pig says easy peasy. You silly old bird. You silly old bird. Hello, Polly. What are you doing here? Uh, Grandpa Pig says... What does Grandpa Pig say? You silly old bird. Oh! Maybe it needs more charcoal. Give it a bit of a blow. Put a few more fire lighters on. Now, we just have to wait for a fire. How long do we have to wait? Oh, it could be a long time. I've been waiting ages. How many fires have you actually put out, Miss Rabbit? Uh, none. Not one fire. But you've got to be ready. It's the fire phone. Oh, can you answer it, Pepper? It'll probably be your daddy again. OK. Hello, fire station. Hello, Pepper. Oh, daddy, it is you. You're very naughty. This phone is for fires only. Uh, can you put Miss Rabbit on, please? There's a good girl. Daddy wants to speak to you. Hello, Daddy Pig. This phone is only to be used when there's a... Fire! Fire! Oh, dear. Daddy Pig's barbecue is on fire. Fire! Fire! Mommy's to the rescue! Whee! Whee! Hold tight. Whee! 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 <laughs> It's Miss Rabbit's fire engine. Stand back, Daddies! Mummy Dog, turn on the water. Aye, aye, Mummy Pig. The fire is out. Hooray! Hooray! Thank you for saving us, Miss Rabbit. No problem. It's all part of the service. The, the Mummy's Fire Engine Service. <laughs> and now that Miss Rabbit has kindly flooded our garden, we can all jump up and down in muddy puddles. Yes! <laughs> I love Fire Engine. Stand back. Ready, steady, go! Whee! Look at me! I'm flying like a bird! <laughs> oh, I can't get out! Pepper is stuck in the tyre. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Well, it does look a bit funny. <laughs> we'll have to pull you out. <laughs> Pepper's friends are helping to free her. Hooray! Thank you, everyone. <laughs> George, do you want to play on the climbing frame? <laughs> the climbing frame is quite high. George does not like being up high. <laughs> Sorry, George. Let's play on the slide. Yes, the slide. <laughs> Peppa loves the slide. <laughs> Everyone loves the slide. Mummy, Daddy, look at me. Ready, steady, go. Wee! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Wee! Wee! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> George wants to play on the slide. Are you sure, George? It is a bit high. <laughs> All right. I'll help you up the steps. <laughs> oh, dear. It is a bit too high for George. <laughs> Don't worry, George. I'll slide down with you. Daddy, you're too big to go down the slide. Don't be silly, Pepper. I'm not too big. <laughs> Stand back. Ready, steady, go! <gasps> Daddy Pig is stuck. It is the first time Pepper and George have been in the car at night. Look, we're following the North Star. <laughs> North Star, North Star. 
Shining with a twinkly glow, please show us the way to go. <laughs> Pepper and George have arrived at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Oh dear, I do hope Grandpa and Granny Pig haven't gone to bed. <laughs> What are you doing here at this hour? We want to see the stars. Peppa and George were hoping they could look through your telescope. I see. Very well. To the top of the house, everyone. <laughs> here she is, old Bess. Wow! Grandpa Pig's hobby is looking at the stars. Now. Who's for the first look? Me, me, me! Ooh, the North Star! We sailors use it to find our way home. Daddy used it to find his way here. <laughs> <laughs> Are there other things in the sky? Yes. This is a planet called Saturn. Wow! What are those pretty rings? They are made of rock and ice. Saturn is very, very cold. We could build a snowman, George. Quick! Look! Oh! It's a shooting star. You must make a wish. I wish that when George is old enough to have his own rocket, he will take me into 